I'm gonna be like, my cat might not be a university student, but your mother is a llama. Just let me fight him. Let me at him. I'll do this for Neo. Oh, <gasps> Forrest is in love. Forrest has children. Okay, so here's a sigh I did not expect to see again so soon. But mistakes were made. I am back home because I got kicked <laughs> out of uni. Well, I got kicked out of uni dorms because I snuck my cat in. Turns out you can't do that. So I am back home. Good job. Good job, Claire. Good job, Briar. However, there is a plan. We are going to move out into the coolest uni dorms that I have created. I also checked the inventory. We do still have our robot. We've got our computer that we bought. We have our posters, our bike. Well, we don't have all of our posters, but we have a poster and a bike. So all is not lost. And we're going to be heading back into university today. And I'm going to be seeing if I can move into that really cool house. I need to check out what the rental situation is on it. The other thing I did is... Is, if you guys remember the first time we encountered Brandon, we had a breathtaking encounter and now he's perceived as very unattractive. Now, this attractiveness comes from the Wonderful Whims mod and you can base a character's attractive preferences on another character. So you can click into the sim and generate preferences based on that character. I haven't done that. So I haven't clicked like any particular character and made her attracted to them. What I did do is I went into Cass and made it so that Briar could be attracted to females and to male sims because with Wonderful Whims that is meant to be like, you know, a bit of a, a split so that you get some sims that are attracted to just males, some sims that are attracted to just females, and some sims that are attracted to both male and female sims. From my experience, I seem to be getting a lot of sims that are just attracted to the opposite gender. So I went in to just mess around with it. And also I was kind of interested, like we'd introduce ourselves to new female characters. How did Briar see them? How did she, like, what were her attractiveness vibes for them? So Violet, who I was kind of shipping her with, she actually finds an attractive. Who do you find attractive at this point? You are so picky. Diamond, she thinks is extremely attractive. So this is her childhood friend, Diamond. She's actually kind of into Diamond, which is interesting. Jaden, she always previously found attractive. Now she finds very unattractive. So she grew up with a crush on Great. Not a big crush, but she definitely found him attractive. Now she finds him very unattractive. So I don't know what the situation is there. And now we also live with, she finds very unattractive as well. So currently the only sim, the whole of the sim universe that she actually thinks is a cutie is diamond which is very interesting i don't actually know what her attractiveness preferences are can i like view them like if i go to attractiveness can i like view her preferences i can set them but i don't really know how to actually like view them but i also kind of like not knowing i like it being like a bit of a secret and i also kind of like that her what she's been attractive to has changed over her life i think that makes sense too you're on your pc right now oh Jaden's calling Remember that job we talked about? I got it. Wait, what? You're now a writing assistant. Does that mean you've quit uni, Jaden? Jaden, please. Oh, wait, he's still doing a physics degree whilst also writing on the side. How freaking brainy is Jaden? I literally just can't. Oh, I also give Brian new hair as well. I had it in the thumbnail for last episode and a lot of you guys liked it. I made this color myself in Photoshop. I'm getting better at recolors and I think that hair was really, really cool. Since you're on your PC currently trolling the forums, that makes total sense. We've got some roy royalties through it as well. Our game is making us a bit of money. I am gonna... You've just broken the PC. I was just about to click move household and then you broke the PC. And now you are really sad about it. Okay, good job. That is your dad's laptop or your mom's. I think it's your mom's. Go ahead and replace that. She's really sad that the PC... Oh my gosh, she literally can't believe she's broken a PC. I am gonna make her... Can I move one person of a household in this menu? I can't remember. I feel like this menu is sort of awkward. Yeah, you have to move with all of them. It really annoys me that I can't just move out from the menu on my own. Or from the PC. I'm gonna have to go back into the world and move out. So I'm gonna do some hugs of all my family first. Oh no. I have got the emotion quirk bomb. I hate this. I hate that so much because your sims can accidentally die. Like I literally hate it. I'm gonna hang out with my fans just for a bit. I think I already asked them all for money last episode, didn't I? So I can't do that anymore, which is a shame. But I will tell them that I'm doing well at university. I can't take little little baby chicken kitty cat with me. So instead, I'm just going to take pictures. We will definitely move kitty cat back in once we finish uni. And then I'm annoyingly going to have to go to manage worlds to move out. So we'll grab a berry. Grab a briar even. I won't be bringing Neil. I'm so sorry, Neil. However, my family have a bunch of money. 
which I think I'm going to need. So I'm going to just see if I can take a cheeky 10k. Now, I was going to switch this to a regular rental, but you guys made a really good point that that would mess everything up and I keep doing this and I need to not do this. Point very much taken. So wait, university's housing is only available through enrollment. But I am enrolled. Can I only move in the first? What? Do I have to live at home for the rest of term? Are you kidding me? Why can't I move back in? Guys, what is happening? Do I have to do it on the PC? Let me try. Man, I've been moving around so much recently. I think I literally have to live at home. I think I have to live at home for four more days before I can enroll back into my next term. I can't believe I've done this. Oh my god, no! Okay, this, this is really bad. This was very, very bad. Oh no. <laughs> Has anyone ever made this mistake before? Let me know. That Yeah, that was a bad mistake, man. Oh, well, at least I get to spend a bit more time at home. The other thing I totally forgot that I've got to do as this generational not so berry is not only have five good friends, which I've been working on, but also five enemies. So I kind of feel like I've got to start this one ASAP, really. Because I find it hard to make enemies. Like, I know there are only sims, but I feel super mean being mean to them. So what I'm going to say is... Anil, where is he? Where is his face? Anil here is the one that grasped on us for bringing our cat to university. So we're going to go ahead and have it out with Anil. So I'm going to invite him around so that I can be like, why did you tell the university about my cat? And he's going to be like, well, you shouldn't be having cats at uni. <gasps> and the bot servants are holding the bot contest right now. Go check it out. I wish I could. But I've got to fight with Anil. Here he is. Here is Anil, the cat dobber. He dobbed in about my cat. Cat dobber sounds really weird. It's going to be a complaint about the death of a pet, but it's not actually the death of a pet. It is the loss of my pet because it now has to live at home thanks to Anil. And why are you so shocked about my bro? Oh gosh, I have to be mean. I don't like doing this. I'm going to shout some forbidden words at him. How dare you get my cat kicked out of university? His education matters too, okay? Let's argue about our outlook on life because yours is clearly anti cat education oh he's shocked he was not expecting me to find out it was you did you not think i would know of course i would know i'm gonna be like my cat might not be a university student but your mother is a llama <laughs> oh is he he's going back he's having it back as well look at everyone in the family just being like this is so awkward she's been home for two seconds and she's having a fight with the stranger in the kitchen this is why you need to be out at university okay this is why okay i'm going upstairs trying to get on my games console are you kidding me that's my brother's xbox step away luke stop trying to be nice i'm in a fight no zane don't you be getting involved as well have you got some homework to do no you've done it all already wait you're in middle school oh, you're wait are you a preteen he's now sad because i'm arguing i'm ruining the family i've been home at two seconds and i've made everyone miserable oh just let me stew in my bitterness in peace some things are hard to forget or forgive okay you're the one who got rid of my car how dare you make this about you how dare you just let me fight him let me at him i'll do this for neo and look anil is showing signs of the hero personality type that's why you were trying to get involved in everyone else's business you thought you were like a hero by grassing in about my cat. Luke is trying so hard to like make this chill out, but no, Luke, please, please don't get involved in this. This is not about you. This is about me and stupid Anil. <gasps> I've got the fight option. Why won't you let me fight? Let me have my first ever fight. I'm desperate. I want to fight. I think I'm going to get my ass kicked genuinely, but this is how you make enemies. You've got to do some fighting. Luke, just, just go for a wee, babes. You don't want to see this. You don't want to see your daughter get into a first fight. It's not a proud moment. It's not like when we made our first game or when we got into university. This is not one of those moments, but I think after this, Anil will officially- Oh my God, I won. I totally beat him up. I feel sick about it. Nauseated from being in a fight. Competition guilt. If I win, my opponent might feel bad. And yeah, I feel literally awful. Awful that I got into a fight, but I did have my first fight. <gasps> And oh my gosh, randomly, stand up to stand out. Robin is getting ready to take the stage. She's been practicing a brand new routine. She wants to debut it to her audience. Suddenly her cell phone rings. It's the president of Plumbob Pictures Recording Studio who's been keeping tabs on my career growth. Thinks I'm the hottest new comedian ever to hit the airwaves. In fact, he wants to lock down exclusive TV rights to Robin's act. Robin must go to the studio immediately and debut her new routine live on TV. This is actually a good career opportunity where I don't get fired for gaining fame. Are you kidding me? Film the stand-up special. I will gain fame and be promoted to the top of the comedian career no freaking way robin go 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 <gasps> no way 
I've been promoted to a showstopper. I actually made it to the top of the comedy career. I'm an overnight sensation. Oh my gosh. I love the idea that maybe Briar, now she's at home and she's not at university and she's like back in home life, kind of like hucked into the Plum Bob Studios like mainframe and like made it so that that video played of Robin's gig and then she got this opportunity. I just like to tie it in there with the hucking somehow because otherwise, how would he have seen it? She's only just started this. She's so young and like, no, she's not young. Let's face it. But she's so new to this and like, this is such a rogue moment. Look at that. I've got three fame points. Oh my gosh. Let's give you some fame points. Let's make it noticeable. Oh, well done. So she actually has reached the top of two careers. How crazy is that? I think that's my first ever not so berry sim to smash the top of two careers. Well done, Robin. Schmooze with your new boss that gave you the gig. Briar, go throw up because you feel so sick about the fight. Go on, go throw up all of your fight stress. Maybe this is a thing we'll have her do. She's got to make enemies, but fighting because she's squeamish literally makes her throw up. You're going to have to clean that, babes. And Anil is fixing our oven. Maybe he needed a good slap. But look, it sorted him right out. I'm not condoning violence there. <laughs> but one enemy done. We are now, we have a festering grudge. He's hurt, but he got beat up, so that makes sense. And we are now fully enemies. Good job. <laughs> well done. And Zayn has decided that he likes video gaming. I mean, that makes sense. Oh gosh, what did I do to deserve James Lynn knocking at my door? Why are you here after all this time? being all old. Robin's at work. This is weird. And Luke keeps complaining about a smell, but I don't know what the smell is. I can't see it. I can't see like any bowls or anything. What smell are you guys smelling? I'm like looking in all the cracks, trying to find out what's freaking them out so much. And I don't know what it is. Oh my God. Why have I just got this phone call. I was feeling really good because I'm like, I got Robin a promotion. I'm going to try and get Luke a promotion tomorrow because he wrote a scholarly paper. Maybe coming home was a good thing. No. Hello, Forrest. Cheyenne here. I just wanted to let you know that I had twins. Aileen and Catalina are doing well. Why are you telling me this? Forrest, what the hell? Oh! <gasps> Forrest is in love. Forrest is in love. Okay. Forrest has children. Forrest has two daughters. Oh my gosh, Forrest, what have you done? Forrest, 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 what the hell? Okay, Forrest is on the next gen. Catalina Harris and Aileen Harris. Oh my gosh, Forrest. Well, I guess we'd like to meet Cheyenne. You guys are fully in love as well. MCC hasn't just done that thing where like, you know, you have a baby, but you don't even know each other. You guys are apparently soulmates. I guess we need to meet Cheyenne next episode. Oh, tomorrow. We'll meet Shea Shan tomorrow. Oh, and Shane is wondering if we want to go over there. And Okay, I've just got back. Comfy cubby. Right, yes, we're coming over to hang out. We're bringing the farmers. Where's Robin? Robin, for some reason, is stuck as if she's at work. So I guess it's just, it's just us coming. I need to see this whole situation. If she has a spouse, I'm going to scream. And okay, here we are. What neighborhood are we in right now? Is this the one that's the new crest? Are we in new crest? Yeah, oh my gosh, it's Lila's house. We're next door to Lila's house. Okay, and here is Cheyenne. Can we come inside? We've gone straight in. Oh, okay, okay wow. Um, This is an awful lot of these. Can we make a little graveyard outside maybe? I don't think we should have them in the house. That's a lot of uh, bodies right there. Okay, Ronnie Richards, Earl Richards, Brittany Ashley, Juniper Richards, Chelsea Richards, Spencer Ashley. I don't remember any of the names off the top of my head. Oh my gosh, here is two babies. Two floating babies we got here. We, okay. Catalina and... Well, they already have a cute little room already for them. And Ashlyn. I am gonna nip here. She's tired. I'm not surprised. She's trying to look after two babies on her own. And, okay. No spouse. Her parents were Kahil Kasigawa and Chelsea Richards. I'm just going to throw some bits on her because I can't be dealing with, with Sims without CC. This is my new cast back background, by the way. It's a bit but it's fine. Okay, so she wants to be a world famous celebrity. She's a kleptomaniac, erratic, high maintenance sim. Well, you're really not to pick them. Don't you, Forrest? Okay, uh, but she is apparently the love of your life. I kind of like the roguishness about you for that. And she's kind of cute in a I will rob you kind of way because the kleptomania clip trait. You know what? No, she is cute. She is cute. Okay, you find yourself a cute sim. So I guess I can't be that mad at you. It's just really not what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting like a crop top, like little boot shorts, cowboy boots kind of 
situation but if it makes you happy it makes you happy i'm gonna keep her like slightly cowgirlish kind of look but just mix up the colors of it a little bit i really like green with red hair i think it's the ultimate combo why does sims insist on doing skirts that nobody wears a skirt to the belly button it's either on your hips or it's on your waist it's not this weird in between no one does that that would be so uncomfortable oh my gosh i could go full country with her but it is 2022 i'm gonna keep the cowboy boots i am gonna keep the cowboy boots and here is Cheyenne. You guys now have two babies. I kind of think you should make, I know it's an old fashioned expression, but you should make an honest woman out of her, especially since she's a farm girl. So I feel like she'd kind of get that expression, you know? So here she is. Here is her little house. I've immediately jumped on her PC. I'm doing some digging, seeing what, what websites has she been on recently? What kind of person is she? I just want to know. And she's come to come and say hello. Oh, she's having a sleep. I mean, she must be exhausted genuinely after having two twins. Let's face it. Let's let her sleep for a bit, catch up. Maybe we can look after the twins. I don't even know if you'll be able to talk to them though because they're floating. Oh no, we can. Okay, perfect. We can, we can, we can. Why don't we give them a feed and some love? Oh, even I'm getting involved. Oh my gosh, this better not stir anything in you, okay? Forrest may have gone for children young, but I don't know if we wanna. I do now have the parenting skill though. Interesting. And look at this. Now we are on twin patrol. The twins are on twin patrol. <laughs> Oh, twins run in the family. That's why we've got another set of twins because Forrest was a twin. Oh... Robin wasn't, but Coral was, and then Scarlet was. Oh my gosh, we have so many twins at this point. It's literally ridiculous. But Forrest is happy. Like, if this was really stressing him out, I think I would be like, hmm, uh, maybe we need to fix the situation. But it isn't stressing him out. It genuinely isn't. And there's like a whole house here. I'm kind of thinking Forrest has moved on and started a life. They don't have the first kiss option either. So they've definitely kissed. They've definitely kissed before. And I've made them at least officially date. I have made them date. I don't know. Like, he finds her attractive. Not very attractive. Not extremely attractive. For him, he was just interested enough about her and, and like, opposites attract kind of thing. Maybe this is a good, like, wake-up call for Briar because Forrest has found so much happiness without perfection, you know? Just for him, his perfect isn't... It has to be 100%. It just has to be someone that he could imagine a perfect life with. And look at this. He's so confident and happy with her. Just like so loved up. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made so many great memories. And have you? And I'm glad you brought this up, Forrest. I've been thinking the same. Let me chat with Forrest and get back to you. Is he, is they wanted to expand the family. <laughs> You know what? I think I need to move Forrest into this house. I'm going to preemptively buy them a piano because he needs to keep composing. Because that's like his job um, and he enjoys it. So I'll buy him a piano or a keyboard because it's a bit easier. And I feel like he's... He's happy. This is his life now. Him, his girlfriend, although I do want them to get married and they're two kids. I don't know. It's it's all kind of cute. I'm glad I moved home because otherwise I wouldn't have seen this. I wouldn't have seen this happen. And I sort of feel like he's going to be a good dad as well. That's so cute. Oh, well done. Okay, right. I'm going to head home so that I can split. Oh, I'm going to go to Manage World so I can split the family up. And we're going to move Forest in with Shean. Okay, so was it New Crest? I think it was Newcrest. Yeah, because look, there's Ashley's here. She has family here. So there we go. Let's move you in. Oh, he's moving on with his life. It makes sense, right? They have 38,000 pounds. Like they don't need our money. Move in and enjoy your new life. Oh, and the whole encounter, I brought Robin home because she's like, uh, not Robin, Briar. She's like, hmm, much to think about. And now she's feeling flirty. She's pretty sleepy, so I'm going to let her go for a nap, but... I'm really hoping I get an invite today. I really want an invite to go somewhere because I have to say yes to them all, but I have to get them in order to say yes to them. <gasps> and Luke's been promoted to a tenured friend. You got tenure! Oh, you clever little googie egg. You've got a new suit for the occasion and everything. Well done. Luke making ten. Oh my gosh, this was such a successful episode for the rest of the family. Oh, and I've got my esports meeting. Go to esports meeting, work from home. Go. And oh my gosh, look at her little esports outfit. Look at little, her little esports shoes. Oh my gosh, yes. And can I like meet some of my fellow esports people? Like, why can't I meet the people that I play esports with? Why do I only get the option to work hard or leave early? Like, I want to meet some of my esports teammates. One, so I can see whether any of them are cute. But two, so I could form a rivalry and become enemies with one. That would be so cool. <gasps> 
And I've been promoted to an alternate. I don't know what that means, but okay. I don't think I get paid from this job. It's literally just for fun. But yeah, I'm now an alternate. Whatever that is. Esports competitor level two. Oh, I'm still not a teammate. Damn it. Aunt, what a rush. Briar feels amazing. Should she firmly embrace that she likes fitness? I guess I have to say yes to everything. It's because the fast internet also makes them feel energized. So she's now decided she likes fitness. I have got one more university paper for her to do while I'm at home. And then we're almost done with this term. I really want to just move back to university. I really do. And oh my gosh, now that I'm an alternate, I need to be video gaming six days a week for four hours? Like... Ah, oh, that is a lot. We may be ditching this, to be honest. It's too much of a commitment. Who are they kidding? Okay, today is the final day of class. We get to find out if I can actually move back into university or not, which I'm really, really hoping I will be able to. The final exam I've got is programming principles, which honestly, I could basically teach this course, so I'm not too worried. Um, by the looks of it, neither is Briar. She's feeling confident and she also dreamed that she was a reality TV show star, which she quite enjoyed. So good luck with your final exam, Briar. And now we just wait to see what our final grades will be. In the meantime, we can hang out with Forrest. And I'm gonna save now, just in case something goes wrong with trying to move into my cool gaming house. And while we wait, I'm gonna start working on my next game because I'm pretty good at making games. <gasps> Okay, okay, that was not the result I was expecting. So I smashed video game strategies. How did you get B minus on programming? You're programming level 10, what the hell? Introduction to computational ideas, I got a C minus. I've closed the term with a GPA of B. B. Okay. That was not what I was expecting, but I do want to sign up for another term. Only need one class to graduate. <gasps> okay, so this is I have one. This is gonna be the best final term ever. But only if I can actually move out. So cost per term. Oh my gosh, I can totally, totally afford it, which is amazing. And I can pay with my household funds and not get any more like debt either. So this is amazing. Applied network security is my final course. This is gonna be a good final course because I'm kind of feeling like if I do apply one network security it will help me learn how to hack corporations which i have to do for not so berry so let's go ahead and move out this time i won't be bringing a cup so it's just gonna be me and i think i came home with about five thousand simoleons since then with my royalties i reckon i've probably made another thousand so i'm gonna give myself six thousand simoleons and then i think maybe my parents will be like look we'll, we'll give you a little hand as well i know they already gave me a bit of cash but their parents they're nice so i'll give myself an extra chunk and we're finally moving out oh my gosh yes i'm so glad oh <gasps> way it's so amazing. Okay. And it's not even that expensive. I can totally afford it. So mailbox, choose our roommates. You know who it's going to be. The old gang is getting, where is the old gang? Where is the old gang? Where are my friends? Why are they not here? Has it put them all on probation because I haven't been in the house with them? <gasps> Add Violet as a roommate. Okay, Violet's back in. Brandon's back in. Jaden and his physics degree and his writing career and his dog loving and cat loving are all back in too. And then where's Diamond? Okay, so hopefully they will stick around as roommates, but the, oh, the whole gang's all back together again. I'm wondering if it will add any other roommates too or whether it'll just be us. I'd kind of like some other roommates, but these are our new digs. How freaking amazing is this? There is an entire build of this on my second channel, but I could, if you guys fancy it, I could post it on this main channel and do like a sped up version so you can see the whole thing being built. Let me know if you would like that. But this right here is our new bed. This is our new workroom. It's so freaking cool. I can't. Brandon, there's a time when I'd have been very happy to see you in this bedroom. However, now I literally find you gross. So I'm sorry about that. I will also be locking this door to everyone but Briar on both sides, which now means I've actually just trapped Brandon in here. <laughs> in my bathroom. Brandon in my bathroom. But here is our amazing new house. Let me know what you guys think of it. And um, I think we'll do some little appearance updates in the next episode because I've got my new hair, but I would like to give Briar this kind of cool like cyber 
goth punk look. Jaden has looked basically the same since he was a child, so maybe we'll update him as well. So has Diamond, so I think we'll give Diamond a little bit of a new look too. And I'm just so hyped to actually be here, actually be finally in the house um, that I should have been in for two terms, but unfortunately was not able to be. So let me know if you guys are excited for next episode. I most definitely am because this house is so freaking cool and I cannot wait to play in it. We only have seven days in this house though because we only have one final thing to do for term. We could always extend it and just buy the house outright and live in it if we manage to generate enough money, which I don't think we will. But let me know what you guys think of it and if you're excited for the next episode and I'll see you guys there. Bye!